Okay, here it is. Apple finally released iOS 15.2 for everyone. Let's download it, install it and check everything new. And you can see we have 15.2. Update number is 19C57. So it's updated and without further ado, let's check everything new. First I will start with more of a like hardware improvements Apple made with this update. So now when you repair your iPhone and you change your Apple iPhone 13 series device display, Apple will no longer disable Face ID. So you can now repair your screen if you have one original of course. That's a very good news because before that, if you change the screen, Apple will disable Face ID for you and you can't use it no anymore. So, the good news coming, now it's just for iPhone 13 series, but I hope they will expand it for older devices. And if your phone was repaired previously, it will show you a service history of your parts. Because I didn't have that in my device, I will show you what it will look like. You can see parts and service history. If you change the battery, it will be written here battery Genion Apple part and camera Genion Apple part is changed. So your part history will be here. What else we have with this update? Find my now can locate your phone for up to five hours when in power reserve mode. If someone stole your device, now you have more time to find it. These are of course good news and I hope no one will use it ever. We have other updates to stocks, notes, Siri bug fixes, Pro Roll photos will no longer show as overexposed, video streaming apps fixes, battery life improvements and lots of people report a better battery life now with this iOS 15.2. I'm also one of these people and this phone made my day without any problems. So it's a one day phone and with latest update it's even better. Now let's start with new more of a visual changes coming with latest update. So music up. Now if you go to library, select your playlist, pull down and you will receive your search bar. So now you have the option to search in your playlists. Sadly, I'm not subscribed to Apple Music and can show you this feature. It is simple as that. You now receive the search option in your playlists. Good move Apple. Apple also introduced a new subscription plan, Apple Music Voice plan, and you can ask Siri to suggest music based on your listening habits and it's $4.99. As I told you, I'm not subscribed to Apple Music, so can show you this now. Let's check the new privacy features. If you go in settings, find privacy, scroll to the bottom and you will now have a privacy report. If you tap here, I will turn it on now. A privacy report records data and sensor access app and to website, network activity and most frequently contacted domains. So this is what app privacy will do for you. Let's open YouTube for example. Of course it's opening my channel. I'm not sure why every time when I open YouTube it's opening my channel. Let's go back and let's go again to settings and you can see now what's happened here. If we tap on YouTube we can check even the domains of YouTube and what it's tracking and what's not. You can check most contacted domains from YouTube. You can check notes and again it's tracking the domain and everything that you want to know. Very useful future from Apple. Apple also introduces digital legacy. I will show you now what this is. Settings, account, password and security and here you will find legacy contact. Tap here and 
This is your legacy contact. Your legacy contact can access your downloaded data from your account if you are dead. If you add here a contact and if you passed away, they can access your data and can download it. Also, if someone else added you to their legacy contacts, they will appear here on that list. So, again, strange but useful future coming with the new update. If you have subscription to iCloud Plus, you can hide now your email directly from email application. So if you open it and if we tap here to create an email and we have here a from tab. If you tap here, tap on the email and you receive the option here to directly hide your email. This is only if you have subscription to iCloud Plus. So directly added option to hide your email from email application and it will generate a random email. We have a slightly redesign in notification summary. If we go again in settings, notifications and we have here a scheduled summary. If we enable it, so it's slightly redesigned with this schedule graphic. This is a minor change with iOS 15.2. We have now communication safety for children. This is coming directly from Apple, so I will show you in their website. The communication safety feature requires iOS 15.2 or later iPad OS 15.2. And remember, this feature is off by default. Let's check what that means. Turn on communication safety to help protect your child from viewing or sharing photos that contain nudity in the messages app. If messages detects that a child receives or it's attempting to send this type of photo, messages blur the photo be before it's viewed on your child device and provides guidance and age appropriate resources to help them make a safety choice, including contacting someone they trust if they choose. Messages uses on device machine learning to Analyze image attachment and determine if a photo appears to contain nudity. The future is designed so that Apple doesn't get access to the photos. So this future is using your device neural engine and it can determine if there is a nudity in a photo. To turn it on on your iPhone, iPad or iPad touch, go to settings, screen time, tap the name of the child in your family group. Tap the communication safety and tap continue. Turn on check for sensitive photos. You may need to enter the screen time passcode for the device of course. What it will look like. And you can see how it will blur if it detects something. It will blur it like this and you can message to someone. Other ways to get help or block contact. And this is the attention message. Something new for iPhone 13 Pro devices. If you own an iPhone 13 Pro or Pro Max, you will receive a new feature in camera. If you go in settings, scroll down to the camera tab. Here it is. Scroll to the bottom and you will receive now this feature. Macro control. Show camera control for automatically switching to the ultra wide lines to capture macro photos and videos. What that mean exactly? If you open the camera and if you close your camera to an object, for example like this, you can see how it switches to macro lens. Let's move it further and it's removed. Let's move it again, you can see how it switched to macro lens and of course you can lock it to that mode or you can deselect it. So now we have more control in camera and macro for iPhone 13 Pro and 13 Pro Max. Now we have a store menu in TV app and you can buy directly from TV app instead of App Store. It makes sense, again something related with Apple and their subscription services. Apple CarPlay now has been also updated 
with more map details for supported cities of course. If you spot something else different and it's interesting, please let me know down in the comments. Until then, don't forget to subscribe my channel and like my videos. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.